Hi guys. Uh, in the last lecture, <coughs> I will try to explain a Pi 2D chart in ASP.NET with using Infosoft Global Library. So now today I will start how to create a Pi 3D chart, right? Pi 3D charts in the ASP.NET using Infosoft Global Library. So before the starting, I am just go to the SQL Server and just create some tables which is required in the creating a Pi 3D charts. So one database are there fusion sample DP which I have already created and just create one table department. In the department char fields are there just like IT, HR, sales and technical. And and the employee tables, employee ID, department ID, employee name, address and salary, and input some value, which is I have already declared inside this and it's already added. And fire some query because I need to find out a uh, department by employee. How many department uh, how many department employee are working in the each in every uh, department so just i'll just check out with query select count employee id i just given the name of alien name just using keyword as sorry okay department name from employee left joining with department just check condition in group by department i just fire the query and just execute click on execute options now just check out my database name was fusion sample db i just select fusion sample db inside this <coughs> and fire again okay this is a department wise data just like hr in the eight employees it 10 sales 5 and technical 6 okay so this is my query after that i'm just go to the visual studio i've already created empty websites just right click on the projects and just click on eight new item I just select one ASPX page, default dot ASPX. Okay, just click on inform, default dot ASPX, click on add options. After that, just inside the DI, we just create one literal. This is rubber side control of the ASP. click on view code options okay before the starting of creating a graphics pi 3d charts i need to some library like using uh one assembly infosub global and one sw file for the view of the your data for the using infosub global library <coughs> so first of all i need to create one folder inside my projects name of fusion charts after that uh i'm just Take one fusion charts library just like uh, where is that okay and just go to the right click the folder in the restaurant minimize and uh, okay this is the blue file all the charts i need to pi 3d just copy the pi 3d and just paste inside there After that, uh, you need to add a uh, one assembly inside the, your projects. Name of imports of global. Just click on projects. Right click on projects. Click on edit reference, and uh, just select the desktop because I have in desktop. Name of imports of global. Okay, now I'm selected. Okay, it was done. Now you can use the uh, local library for the database connectivity because I need to use the SQL Server database. The SQL client. And another is Fusion System Data. And the last was using Infosoft Global Library. Okay. After that, because I have already created, so I need to go and just copy paste my database. Because it's the same process, not different. 
uh, for the create one SQL connections objects con and new SQL connection with using DB connection and this DB connection I am storing inside the web.configurations file so I need to open inside this connection string and inside the connection string I will add connection string and just go to the SQL uh, sorry server explorer in the Visual Studio Just right click on the aid connections option. And just click on change option, use the select to SQL server, and just click on OK options. And just put it as a local server in this kind of and select the database name. My database was Fusion Sample DB. So I need to select Fusion Sample DB, just click on page connections. Success, click on OK option. Okay, just right click on the appropriate uh, for the server database and just go to the property, just copy the connection string and just paste inside this. Okay, now paste after that. Just name my name was DB connections and just provide a name. Provide a name was system client. Save and uh, the name of DB connections. So, when you are required to catch your database connections file with the configurations file, then you need to put on code. I have already created so for the time convention, I need to copy this. Just copy and paste. Okay, and those heads inside the class. Okay, DB connection system or configuration manager or connection string name was db connection dot connection string and one xml file generation for the xml file i'm just create one empty variable like global xml is equal to play okay after that i have already created code so i just copy paste because i don't have time now uh, okay uh, ds is not equal to null and inside the ds dot table zero dot rows dot count greater than zero means uh, suppose my value is not null my row is not null then just go to the inside this just create one chart because uh, in the fusions library you need to create one xml file and just pass this xml file inside the sws right so uh, first first of all you create one xml file though xml is equal to chart just starting with the chart palette is equal to four is color code for integer i go starting from to zero ending from count and incremented by one and just put set label and inside this just put department name and the value was employee value was employee because just show inside this this is a value and this is a name okay uh, after they just close the chart and just little one dot text fusion charts render chart html and just pass inside the pi 3d chart which chart pi 3d chart dot has wf and xml dot two string this is a url i don't require to put a url this is pass xml file and just put caption department wise employee just width and height okay and debug mode was false okay now just save and just check out uh, i'm just using my uh, firefox so i have already created uh, so i have already set a default firefox so i need to run
So this is my chart for the Pi 3D chart. It was very attractive and very animated uh, chart. So when you require to create a graphic chart, then you need to put then you need to put uh, actually a fusion library with using Infos of global assembly. Right. Uh, enable rotations, just put the rotations value is there. Enable sizing movement, just click on movements. So this is very attractive to creating 3D chart. Thank you very much and uh, do not leaving without subscribing the channel.